I want to quickly mention, touch upon what happened at Wireless last weekend or yeah, previous weekends ago. Um, the only thing I want to mention off the back of it because the shows looked fucking incredible watching them online and whatnot. And I just learned recently actually that uh, I'm not sure if this is actually true, but what I've just been told, so I'm just going to repeat it because it's going to be you know when I repeat it again, it sounds like facts. But someone told me that Wireless is one of the only festivals that is 16 and up which might explain why when i was watching i was like how come there's so many kids there in it because i don't remember why it's ever being so inundated and full of kids but then it made sense if it's one of the only ones that's 16 and over that kids can go on their own and also made sense why the vibe was so electric because those kids let's say from 16 to 21 they actually listen to all these artists that are playing on that wireless lineup every single day on their Spotify, on their Apple Music, on YouTube, on the dance to it, on TikTok. Like they're actually listening. They're actually active consumers. It's not like just, you know, adults who just don't mind going to just see a show or two. These are like legit super fans of whoever's performing at that venue or so on that, on that stage at that time. And one of the best clips to come off the back of it, off of everything that happened at wireless, is this amazing clip featuring Summer Walker where she's on stage singing and for any of you guys that like, know from what i've kind of understood as well looking from the outside didn't because i'm a big fan of summer walk and i love her albums and stuff i love you know her writing i love just everything about what she puts out there right but i think personally she's kind of suffered a lot in terms of her personal relationships online and stuff and how she's basically been perceived and also how she's kind of dealt or managed stardom right in terms of her ability to maybe take criticism um just how she acts as an artist and then when she does perform live her lack of maybe stage presence and the lack of dancing and moving around and it just being a bit static or whatever maybe right there's been a lot of i felt like unnecessary attention being put on the fact that she doesn't dance doesn't have people dancing behind her doesn't really move around too much and it's just sort of like stationary sort of like singing these amazing emotional kind of r&b ballads but i definitely appreciate it because i don't think everyone's you know everyone's got the ability or capacity to be to be up there kind of crunking and stomping their feet like beyonce and ciara it just doesn't make any sense but then i also think that she didn't have the opportunity to be in front of actual actual hardcore fans like fans that just love what she does in terms of singing vibes and i think one of the best things about the uk crowds is that we're so used to and such big fans of live music that for the most part you could be sitting there or you could be on the hospital bed on stage and if people love your songs they're going to be fucking singing along to them all the way through and i felt like for the first time because i think she's completely unaware of what uk crowds are like or what european crowds are like she was there sitting down in her wicker basket kind of in a wicker basket chair and just singing and hoping that it would be okay and it would go well and the crowd were reacting to it really well because they were singing back these lyrics to her like word for word like crazy word for word and and it's no surprise to me because you know you go to some uk clubs and if they have big dj techno DJs playing or house DJs playing and they've got a really big massive tune that's worldwide and well known like a jeff mills song like the bells or something there'll be and i've done it myself there'll be people in a crowd literally humming along to the fucking song humming along to the bass line wherever it may be to the melody like it's fucking nuts how much people do it and it's something that kind of some people look down upon and think oh, that's a bit corny but i love it because i think if you're an artist there's no better kind of um there's no better um what would you call it there's no better mark of respect um for your artistry and what you put out there then people just belting back and singing in their most horrible voice every single word that you spend countless hours and days sort of like crafting in your studio and getting done that i don't think there's any other better way than do it so this is a clip of summer walker kind of finally seeing the love and seeing the moment that uk crowds are maybe better than us crowds when it comes to appreciating their artists <laughs> what a fantastic way to connect with the crowd too to be that emotionally vulnerable where you're crying and then the crowd can maybe you know figure out that oh shit maybe she's crying because of how much we're giving her love and then they're gonna turn it up a notch again to make you even more emotional do you know what I mean so it's a fucking amazing symbiotic moment that happened there You know, but 
this London. I really appreciate y'all. So I just need y'all to help me, you know, help me make it through. I, I really do appreciate y'all. Let's start over. Come on, man. UK crowds are the best. UK crowds are, and again, it made me think overall. There's plenty of other videos that kind of, you know, show that happening. There's a Rowdy Rich videos, there's Lou Uzi Vert videos, Tyler Creator, Tyler Creator performing at Wireless videos. Like, some of the reactions to some of these artists were incredible. And it made me just think to myself, like, why don't some of these US artists really go out of their way to try and perform here more often? It makes no sense. Like, they don't come here often anyway. So number one, you're always going to have the possibility of selling out more shows here than you would in the States because people don't see you here often enough. So they're going to, you know, not take it for granted that you're here in the first place. And also you have legit ugh, super fans, like fans that just listen to you and you alone when they're going to work, listen to you and you alone when they're going for issues with their friends, listen to you and you alone in the classroom, whatever it may be, to the gym. They legitimately know your catalog backwards and forwards. Like... It, it really is a kind of a missed opportunity. And I know from consuming a lot of US culture, sorry, consuming a lot of US kind of content and watching a lot of interviews with artists, from what I can ascertain, a lot of the reasons why they don't do it is mostly because of laziness. Mostly because it's a 14 hour flight here to the UK or, you, or in parts of Europe. You have to make it kind of worth your while. And you have to kind of book a lot of dates. You can't really just do a couple of dates here and then and go back. It's not worth your time. So it's a kind of, it's a big investment. You essentially have to kind of, you know, scratch off a month in your calendar to go somewhere that you're not really familiar with and a place that you're not really sure you're going to really be received that well at when really you could guarantee that you get yourself, you know, if you stay home, you can guarantee that you're going to get, you know, a certain amount every weekend just from doing walk-ins at clubs or doing appearances or doing little sets somewhere. You know, you don't have to move anywhere. Do you know what I mean, you can probably get paid to do interviews from fuck on fucking YouTube and shit if you just stay home and stuff. So I understand the... Um, the kind of uh i understand why they would be lazy and why they'd kind of be comfortable to just stay but i do honestly hope that some of this footage from wireless has gone viral of these fans and these kids just absolutely singing and belting out these artists songs word for word bar for bar i hope it will kind of show them that they're actually they're actually a lot of kind of hardcore fans of theirs here hardcore music fans also because i still have fr i still have friends on my instagram page now that i can kind of think of people that i've kind of known in the scene who are legitimate fans and go out of their way to see loads of people live they book tickets to see people live all the fucking time and i feel like those kind of people who go to events and live events all the fucking time they exist all over the uk and I don't think they have the same level of sort of like hardcore live fan addicts as we do here in the UK and via the US. I don't think so in general. And just in general, in terms of appreciating and showing the love, in terms of dancing and moshing and getting on it and stuff and singing, people just don't care here. You know what I mean, when they go to festivals, they go to events, they pay their good money. Usually it's pretty expensive too. Usually you've had to kind of maybe, maybe you had to even buy it on fucking resale from a ticket scalper. Maybe you had to queue up a long time to go get it. Maybe you've the only thing you've got to enjoy for the rest of the year. So when you do go, people here really let their hair down and really enjoy themselves. So there's none of this kind of too cool for school, standing on the side, crossing their arms. No, no, no. They're going to be singing and bowing their hits. And it's even better because in this clip, even, even from this little screen grab here, right? All you can see are kids with their phones in the air, but they're still screaming. They're still screaming the lyrics back at her, so they're still engaged. I mean, they're still kind of showing out for the artists there and not just kind of recording it through their screen like fucking zombies, which is fucking cool to see. But yeah, that was a really cool video to see over the weekend and a real good reminder, a really good wake-up call on just how amazing the live music kind of culture and scene is here in the UK compared to anywhere else in the world. It really is unparalleled.